My yeah. area right now, we're having a huge problem because I live by a riverbed and these motherfuckers come by 20 times a day, but we're having a real big problem with those little motorbikes. Are you guys seeing the same issue? Mini like bikes. 30, 40, mo- yeah, on those little mini well, bikes, no gangs. helmets, nothing. The mini bike gangs. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah. They got gangs of mini bikes. Again. Literally gangs. Again. Ain't got no helmets. Half of them don't have no helmets. No license plates. No kind of lighting on them where you're going to they're going to stop, uh, pull up in front of you. they dangerous. they loud as fuck. They loud as fuck, okay. And another thing, the problem with those things are when the cops show up, they scatter, and when they scatter, they endanger themselves because they're trying to get away from the police. You don't know who's going to pull out of a driveway, who may open up a door, and to avoid them hurting themselves, trying to get away from the police, they they let them go, okay. They let them go. You're only going to get a one or two of them. You're going to get all of them. If you got 30 cats out there riding mini bikes, riding mini bikes, quads, um, you got to have a whole bunch of cops. You got to have them. You got to have them pretty much uh, in a, a street with no side streets, no alleys, no nothing, no driveways, and just blocking them in all at the same time. Because if not, you, you only need fire trucks to block the streets for that shit. You can't block them. With yeah, them. yes. You, you know, I was talking to a sheriff. Sorry to cut you off. I was talking to a sheriff who patrols my area, and asked I asked him about it just out of curiosity. And he said, now there's a new law that they are in this, in my area specifically, I don't know how it is in the rest of LA County that they aren't even allowed to chase them anymore. They can't, they just, unless they see them physically murder someone or something like that, shoot them. They can't even chase them anymore. Dude, you can't even chase somebody. If they, if, if you, if, if somebody is driving a stolen car and the cop pull them over and the car is stolen, all they go get is a goddamn ticket. I ain't bullshitting. Ask me how I know. I do. This morning, okay, along with being the godfather of West Coast hip hop, I got a couple other businesses that I run as well. Okay. One of my businesses is the Hub City Legend newspaper for the city of Compton. Along with that, I also want run the Compton Entertainment TV channel. So I go out and videotape stuff all the time. I'm doing stories all the time. And this morning, this morning, I spit from nine o'clock in the morning till about 10 30 on Alameda in, in uh, LA at the uh, sheriff uh, station on Alameda talk, listening to sheriff Luna speak. Okay. I'm there. I'm telling you, I'm telling you what God loves. See what they can about me. I can go hang out with the police. Damn, I ain't worried about it. Cause I ain't got in And then we going to do, they let me bring my cameras in. And I recorded the whole, the whole program. Okay. And I learned a lot of different things by doing what I do, by going to city council meetings, town hall meetings. These meetings happen all the time, but because they're not big media uh, situations, the, tele- no, 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 the big stations don't cover them. So I cover them, and I put them on my television channel. And I listened to Luna talk today, and he's like a pretty decent dude. Um, you know, we didn't get a personal conversation, but let's listen to him talking. I get a pretty good perspective of uh, people just by listening to him talk, how they carry themselves. And um, he was saying how, um, you know, he's cool with the DA, but the DA, you know, they got their problems, man, because the DA, even if you catch guys doing certain things, the DA don't prosecute them, which is a problem. You got stores. Lady, One lady was saying she uh, left the store, the Ross, and um, she saw two guys walk in with trash bags and hoodies on and just start grabbing shit. Just start grabbing shit. And it's not that they're intimidating her. It's just frightening to see people be so brazen. You know, it's really nerve wracking. You out there shopping with your credit cards, your money, and this fool right next to you just grabbing shit and walking out and nobody don't say nothing. She says she told the... Uh, the so-called, um, uh, what you call that shit? The, the, the anti-theft, not the anti-theft, the uh, loss uh, prevention. Loss prevention. Hey, you know you're being robbed? He said, yeah, we know. The fuck? What kind of loss prevention is that? Yeah, yeah we know. But again, the economic, it's an economic thing. The money that there's still, the, the, the amount of money that, the, the I'm sorry, the amount, of the, the amount of the merchandise they're stealing Supersedes any lawsuit. I mean, uh, that will be superseded by any lawsuit they get by trying to stop them. So, in other words, they can't afford to force the, to enforce the law. 
is economically unfeasible to enforce the law. What kind of bullshit is this? Think about that, man. Think about that. I mean, you, when you think about this for a minute and reel, and reel the clock back to the 90s, the average cop makes about $75 an hour. Not to mention captains and lieutenants and sergeants, whatever the case may be, SWAT, whatever the case. So somebody go to bust a dope dealer, you got usually 25, 30 cops coming to the dope house with dogs, everything. The manpower that you utilize to quicken a dope dealer's house just to get, what, a half an ounce or a bird? Economically, back then, that wouldn't be feasible. Economically, it wouldn't be feasible. But it made the streets safer in some cases. Okay? When you see a situation in the cops, um, you see cops, man, sometimes there'll be one traffic stop, but there'll be five cars sitting there kicking it watching the back of that car. Is that really economically feasible? Think about that. You got one cop. You got one cop doing a search of a car or doing the car a stop, but you got five or six cops sitting there watching him do this. And, you know, the, other, the rest of the city is, uh, is being pretty much unprotected. Economics, man. And for a ticket that may get kicked out, don't make no sense. Anyway, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. You know what I was just thinking while you were uh, saying that, Lonzo? You know, my friends and I were just talking about how we don't see, I don't see cops anymore, dude, like I used to. I don't see California Highway Patrol like I used to. You know, am I the only one noticing that? Because I don't see cops anywhere. I mean, I don't live in the best, you know, area. I live in, you know, Southeast LA portion where we see a lot of cops. Now I don't see any, anything. Do you, am I tripping? What, what do you say? I usually see cops when there's a cop situation. What I mean by that is if there's a, um, a stop, a stop, or something like that. I see four or five carloads of cops. I don't see high patrols at all. Like I remember, as you mentioned it, I don't see high patrol much of uh, hardly any. But at talking all, about this, right? Listening to Luna, going to these different meetings, I realize when they're 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 twenty percent short on cops right now. It's supposed to be ten thousand cops. They only got like eight 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 thousand. They're short on every day. So I mean, if anybody listening to me right now. And not to, not necessarily be a cop, but there are some other jobs, citizen, um, not citizen, but uh, civilian jobs for in the sheriff department on the county. They're, man, they're hiring everywhere at time. If a nigga ain't got a job, he either messed up, you didn't crashed out and messed up your shit back in the day, or you just don't want one, or you must be on Instagram showing your showing your feet or some shit. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, that was just something that I thought um, 